What is your name? Susie. Oh, you're so cute and fluffy. Friend, this is our new friend, Susie. Ah. Tell her welcome. Ah. <laughs> you're so cute. Ah. We look forward to seeing you soon, Susie. Bye. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got Peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior in my soul. I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior in my soul. I've got joy like can be so weird sometimes. Eee-oo! Us donkeys are straightforward and simple. What you see and hear is what we are and how we feel. If we are tired, we will lie down. If we are thirsty, we will drink some water. And when we are hungry, we eat. The only time we might not like you is when you are mean to us or treat us badly. Yes, I know, we can be lazy sometimes. But most of the time, um, we work really, really hard, especially if you award us with some carrots or something like that. Mm, I love carrots. Do you perhaps have some carrots for me? Oh, wait. You cannot give it to me through the camera. <laughs> but if you have, please drop, come drop one off for me here at church. Now. Where was I? Oh, yes. Donkeys are easy going and uncomplicated. But people, the moment, one moment, they sing, Hosanna, praise the king. And the next, they say, crucify that man. Uh, I mean, really, make up your minds. Do you like him or not? Is he wonderful as you say he is or not? Anyways, let's talk about that day before we start this sad story. I am talking about Jesus and the day he came into Jerusalem. He is the best person that ever rode on my back. Kind and gentle. You should have seen how much love he had in his eyes when he looked at me. He treated me so nicely. I wish he could have been my only owner forever. That would have been the best. <sighs> Now that day was quite special. Never in my life did I think I will be, a, be will be carrying a king on my back. 
people, the people, even put their clothes and branches on the road in front of us. And they sang. Everyone was so excited. They could praise their king. Now, that means that they couldn't tell him how much he means to them and how much they appreciate and love him. And you know what? I could do it as well. Well, not through singing. We donkeys, we can't sing. <laughs> I could praise him by doing what he asked me to do and by giving him giving myself to him it was so special can you imagine each of us can praise jesus king of our lives how i i'm, I'm not entirely sure i don't know if you need branches and clothes and a donkey let's hear what the aim kids presenter has to say but i think you are going to hear about me and jesus first bye guys as they approached jerusalem and came to bethphage on the mount of olives jesus sent two disciples saying to them go to the village ahead of you and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say the Lord needs them and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, see your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the fowl of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The roads that went ahead of them and those that followed shouted, Usana to son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Usana in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowd answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Friends, what do you think a donkey feels like? Is he smooth or rough or soft? Yo, I'm not sure. Do you know what a donkey looks like? Do you think it's comfortable to be on a donkey? I don't think so. Can you believe that Jesus was on a donkey when he came into Jerusalem? And that isn't the only strange thing that happened that day. People were so excited about Jesus that they started throwing branches and clothes on the road in front of him. It was absolutely astonishing. In this way, they praised Jesus. They shouted, Jesus, you are wonderful. Jesus, we love you. Now, friends, do you think we can only praise Jesus when we see him? Do you think we also need to have branches and clothes to throw in the road in front of him? No, this was the way that these people praised Jesus and how they show Jesus how special he is to them. But today, even when we don't see him, we can praise him every day. When our hearts are overflowing with love and gratitude and joy for Jesus, then we can sing or we can tell him, Lord, we love you. We can also praise him by following him and by listening to him. Our lives can praise him every day. And when it's difficult to praise Jesus because you're actually really sad, you can ask him and say, Jesus, please help me to praise you even when things go wrong. 
Jesus loves it when we praise Him. He loves to hear us sing and He loves to do life with us. Are you excited? Let's praise Him every day.